Now, even though I'm really, really sick still, and I have a lot of medication keeping me up and going, I have to talk about one of my favorite things ever on the internet. I, I just, I just have to. Guys, can we talk about tentacles? Please? No, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I, I want to talk about Watcher in the Water. I think... Look, look, look. I think there's a deck here that needs to be ran, and I don't see people playing this deck at all, but I, I, think, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it, and not just because of the tentacles. But, okay, look. It's a mono blue commander. I know. I know. I hate it, too. But I've seen enough head time to know where this deck is going. So, Watcher in the Water enters the battlefield tapped with nine stun counters, okay? Uh, which means that we get a five mana nine nine that we can't do anything with, which makes it, it, it makes it better, right? And then anytime you draw a card during an opponent's turn, nobody ever gets upset at the blue player doing things on the opponent's turns. Uh, then you get to create a tentacle, you know, that that's fine. Uh, and whenever a tentacle you control dies, you can untap a Kraken, which means you get to remove a stun counter from the Watcher and then put a stun counter on your opponent's non-land permanent you know because everybody likes it when you tap down their soul ring forever i i'm sure there's nothing wrong with playing this deck uh surely surely the deck will be fine i mean look maybe we need about 15 ramp pieces to get up to the costly commander himself because he does he costs five and a monocolor deck you know maybe we'd have an unstable obelisk to begin with to blow up permanents in case we needed to a bonders ornament so we could draw cards on our opponent's turn while also having a mana rock uh, maybe we'd have a mer convert as a two mana mana rock along with a sky diamond which is a two mana mana rock maybe honored heirloom to keep uh you know the reanimation players in check Maybe we'd even run Hedron Archive as a way to draw cards on our opponent's turn uh, while having a Mana Rock. Maybe Command Sphere also is a Mana Rock that can draw us cards on our opponent's turns to make more tentacles, which we um, we will be very normal about. Uh, maybe Dreamscape Artist as a mono blue land fetching card and Wayfair's Bobble as a land fetching card uh, that we have access to as a, as a Mana Rock too. Uh, maybe you'd even run a Mind Stone, you know? Uh, it would draw you a card in your opponent's turn. It's something that a very normal thing to do to spawn very normal tentacles everywhere. Uh, maybe Midnight Clock can also give you a ton of draw power as well as resetting our deck when we need it to. Uh, maybe that also would make us tentacles. Maybe Collector's Vault can draw us cards and make us treasures, which also makes us tentacles. Uh, maybe Heraldic Banner will make all of our tentacles have one more power while also making us mana. Maybe Worn Power Stone can give us a lot of mana too. And Victory Chimes can untap on all of our opponent's turns, which will also give us a very normal amount of tentacles throughout the game. Maybe. And we're about a blue deck, so I mean, we would probably run like 16 interaction and removal pieces so that we can constantly respond to our opponent's things during their turns. I mean, that's just reasonable, right? I mean, you would run cards like Leave in the Dust, which can bounce a card at instant speed and draw us a card, which makes a tentacle. Artistic removal, which can counter a card and draw us cards, which makes a tentacle. Uh, cancel, which just counters cards, which is fine. You know, that's normal. Bone to Ass, which can counter a card and also uh, draw us tentacles. Make us tentacles from drawing us cards. I'm normal about this. Uh, Statue of Denial could also counter spells. And if the card's blue, then maybe we would just draw a card and make a tentacle. You know, Exclude can counter another creature spell and make us a tentacle. Uh, Into the Royal can bounce a card and make us a tentacle. I mean draw cards. Repulse. Uh, Repulse can also bounce cards, drawing us cards. B Bane's Contingency can, can stop things that target our commander and also draws cards. Which makes us tentacles. Dream Fracture can also counter stuff drawing us cards. Meteor Golem would be in there so that we could kill cards that Blue has trouble killing. Like the vibe of the table. Contradict would be in there to counter anything and draw us cards. Dismiss can counter anything and draw us cards. Uh, negate can counter anything. Uh, well, non-creature cards. Raven form can exile something and give them a bird, which looks like our tentacle, but they're just not quite as good. Uh, and Resculpt would be there to get rid of artifacts or creatures. And exile speed 
And, you know, uh, maybe, just maybe, if we were uh, running out of cards in our deck from spawning too many tentacles, maybe we would run uh, three different cards to reset our graveyard. You know, maybe we would have Monotic Nexus, which can make everybody shuffle their graveyards in their library, Me, you know, making the reanimation player love us because we've given them all their stuff back. Uh, commit also would be great. You know, uh, we can make spells uh, go on the top of our opponent's library. They f Nobody hates it when we do that. When we counter uncounterable spells this way. And then, you know, we can use memory from the graveyard and shuffle their graveyard back into their deck because we need our counter spells back and they need their big creatures they put there back so that they can't reanimate them. Nobody will be upset about this. The Underworld Breach player will not be upset about this. Nobody will be upset about this. Uh, learn from the past! You know, instant speed. Somebody tries to reanimate something, we put their graveyard back in their library, and then we draw a card, making a tentacle. And, you know, we can use it on ourselves to reset our libraries if we need to, but that's... If we were playing a very normal tentacle deck, uh, we would do that. And also, you know, since it's a normal tentacle deck, Surely, if the tentacles were flying tentacles, that would make it even better. Uh, we would run things like Archetype of Imagination, which can make all of our tentacles have flying. Uh, and it, it grounds all of our opponent's cards. So we get, you know, big tentacles that can just invade our opponents and they can't consent. Then we'd have Wonder, which in the graveyard would also give us flying tentacles levitation. And Paragon of the Gathering Mists could give us uh, some stuff. You know, you know, Levitation gives them all flying, and Paragon would give them all plus one, plus one. Uh, and then we could also make any of our creatures, like the Watcher, uh, have flying. That that would be that would be a way to to make all of our cards have flying. And you know, Wonder has to be in the graveyard, so maybe we would probably put a bunch of cards that loot as well. Uh, probably four of them, right? So that we can draw cards on our opponent's turns without having to spend any mana which would make us tentacles. Uh, you know, Reckless Scholar would be one of them. He makes any player draw a card and discard a card. Bonded Fetch can draw us a card and discard a card. Murpho Looter can draw us a card and discard a card. And Monsalanti can do it too. And also it can flip and give us, uh, you know, mana for all the permanents we don't have in our graveyard. We're probably never going to flip it. We're probably just going to keep it like this. Uh, and, you know, because making tentacles is done by drawing cards, surely we would have a completely reasonable 17 card draw baggage to make lo lots of tentacles happen. And we would probably make sure that all the draw package can be done at somewhat instant speed so that we can always be spawning tentacles. You know, we would run Inspiration to draw two cards at instant speed, uh, Hidlian Knots to tap a creature and scry one and draw one, uh, Radical Idea, which would draw a card and it has a jump start, so we can have it twice, Reign of Revelation, which would draw three cards and discard a card, Obsessive Search can draw a card for a mana, uh, Hieroglyphic Illumination would draw a card as well, uh, Think Twice would draw a card and have flashback, Curate would surveil two and then draw us a card, Una's Grace can draw us a card and it has retrace, Opt can draw us a card, Card. Academy Wall. Anytime we cast an Inter Sorcery spell, we can draw a card. So, you know, now Cancel makes tentacles. Lunar Mystic would also let us uh, draw cards if we paid one anytime we cast an instant, uh, you know, of which we have 31. Quick Study can draw us cards at instant speed. Deduce can too. It also makes us a clue that we can use to draw cards after Deduce is gone. Kempster's Insight can draw us cards. And then we can jumpstart it to draw again. So we can get, make we can make tentacles on, on two people's turns. Meeting of the Minds would also draw us cards. And we can tap tentacles to make Meeting of the Minds cheaper. And then Wave Break Hippocamp. Every time we cast a spell on an opponent's turn, uh, it would draw us cards, making us tentacles. And, you know, that that would be... A sw Nobody would be upset about that at all. And uh, surely, as we're spawning tentacles, we would want to run uh, a Nadir Kraken as well to make more tentacles come out. Uh, whenever you draw a card, we can pay one to put a woman counter on the Kraken and make another tentacle. You know, we, we're d perfectly reasonable. Uh, and then we have Ominous Seas as well. Anytime we draw a card, we'll put a counter on the Seas and then we'll make a Kraken. You know, a Kraken with lots of tentacles. And then surely if we wanted to make even more tentacles, we would clone our commander with Ereticus's Vile Duplication to make a non-legendary copy of our commander, which would spawn a shit ton of tentacles every time we drew cards on our opponent's turns. And yeah, maybe this is just me, but because we're drawing so many cards, uh, maybe we would build the deck in a way that would win with a Psychosis Crawler. You know, when, if we're going to draw so many cards, then surely Psychosis Crawler is the way to go. Because, you know, as we're drawing cards, everybody can burn for one. 
Uh, and then, you know, because we got so many tentacles on the board, they're all 1-1s. One That's little. We need to make those tentacles bigger. We need to prove to our opponents that they need to be size queens. Uh, we would run Nanogene Conversion, which can turn all of our tentacles into copy of our copies of our commander. Or copies of Psychosis Crawler. And that would make for a very, very easy win. Uh, you know, a bunch of 9-9 tentacles flying in the air, uh, coming to just non-consensually turn somebody else into anime Swiss cheese. You know, you that, that, that would be normal, right? That would make you feel normal. And, you know, the mana base could even be super easy. I mean, 34 islands? Come on, you don't have to do much more than that. Maybe even maybe have a myriad landscape in there, too. But like 34 islands for tentacles that that that, that seems that seems fine Th this is fine i'm normal hey i just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running youtube and twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times and the stability a patreon provides me is worth more than i can say here also like to thank each and every one of my twenty dollar and up patrons here. They would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamoto, Jordan, Ravi, Juni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you. Sagitta, I'm not saying that part. And Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.